And in this demonstration, we're going to exercise uh, what to do when a patient has a minor bleed. So first thing we want to do is we'll come up on the patient, um, say this is our wound right here. We see that the patient is actively bleeding. First thing we want to do is go ahead and place our hand over it, which is going to be applying pressure. Once we apply pressure, we want to check to see if the bleeding has stopped over a certain amount of time. Has the bleeding stopped? All right, bleeding has not stopped. So the next thing we want to do, if the bleeding has not stopped, we have our gauze here, and you're actually able to go ahead and we can pack the wound. And what you want to do is you want to stuff that gauze right down in there, which actually absorb the blood. So we'll check it now. Has bleeding stopped? No. Okay, so we're in the same area right now of a severe bleed. So anytime you have a severe, severe bleed, we want to go ahead and apply a tourniquet. Let's just say that Miss Emily has a severe wound on her wrist. We're going to apply a tourniquet in this situation. So you want to go ahead. You want to come all the way up here. Since the wound is right here, you want to apply above the wound. So you'll tighten down. Once that tourniquet is tight, you'll twist it to get it even tighter. And then the next thing you do, to make sure it is tight enough and it's going to cut off blood, you're going to check for a pulse. There's no pulse present. And long, you'll be able to actually see that the blood is no longer uh, oozing out. So once you have the tourniquet applied, it is a time-sensitive thing. You want to uh, apply what time you put the tourniquet on. So once they do get to the hospital, uh, they'll know how long it's been on. If you don't have an actual tourniquet, you can use uh, something as simple as a piece of cloth and a pencil. What you do is, if the wound is here on his forearm, tie above the wound, tie one knot as tight as you can, take the pencil, put it over the knot, and tie over it. Then you can use the pencil, twist the pencil, to tighten the tourniquet all the way. You can twist it, and then you can tuck it under. Tuck it under there, so you can see it's not going to untwist. And then same thing, check and make sure there's no pulse past the tourniquet, uh, and the bleeding should have stopped.